AITA for triggering my estranged sisters when the only thing I knew would get a reaction out of her. There's a lot I have to leave out due to the word limit, so I'd be happy to give the full backstory in the comments if anyone is interested. I have five siblings, four of whom I love dearly, but as for my sister Tina, I hate her. She was always the problem child in our family. It only got worse when I am mom, our oldest brother, Jack, dad, and Tina got in a car accident because Tina started drama at a party, so we had to get our parents to collect us early. Mom lost her life and dad was left with life-changing injuries. Me and Jack had broken bones, but Tina walked away with not single mark. Tina, who already had mental health issues, BPD, turned to alcohol and pain killers. She caused a lot of hurt to us for three years before she got plastered at Jack's collage graduation party, humiliated herself, as usual. Then when she was told leave, got mad, and did what she always did punish us, but this time she took it too far. She took the karaoke microphone, gave a big speech about us being bad people, especially me and my brother. She aired all our family's secrets like my brother being gay, or how mom wanted to divorce dad before she passed. She ended up taking our dad's car as a last fuck you to ruin the party, so I reported her and she got arrested. We decided all us siblings would cut her off and made dad press charges. Tina got three years. Ten years later, she reached out to our dad and grandparents. Apparently, she's been clean for 11 years and is a better person. She is pregnant and has a husband too. We had our first meeting with her tonight. I only went to see would she take any accountability. But no, she didn't. Everything was someone slash something else's fault and she was victim. So I couldn't. I had to let it out. I wasn't afraid of her anymore. I listed everything she did to us and her husband made an excuse for her. He even tried to go off on us for turning our backs on her because his brother passed away due to addiction. I told him I care as much about his junkie brother as I do my junkie sister. Tina then started defending herself and giving out to me threatening to not let me have a relationship with her kid like I cared again with Tina no accountability or remorse. So I told her it's her fault mom died and dad can barely walk because she was always an evil selfish bitch. She just broke down and everyone stood in shock I just left the house because I was done. Our grandmother is furious because I knew it was trigger for Tina and it could make her relapse. Edit because I'm going to sleep after this. I think most of are confused when I said I wanted Tina to take accountability and apologize for what she did after mom died. I've explained in the comments some of the things she has done and I've spoken to people with siblings like Tina my heart breaks for you especially the ones who can't cut contact. I don't think Tina has changed she never will. I've been texting my brothers all night and spoken to Jack on the phone we are gonna give our dad and grandparents a choice either contact with Tina or all of us. Jack has reached out to other family members letting them know the situation and if Tina contacts them don't give her any information about us. A few have said she's tried to contact them but they've ignored her. Also it is Tina fault I'll always blame her for mom I never said it out loud till tonight but I've always thought it. Also my siblings and I are happy since Tina left we have bullet lives of our own they're not prefect but I wouldn't change mine for the world. I forgot to add ages at the time of the accident I was 15 Jack was 17 Tina was 19 our other brothers were 12 and 14. I was told to add this to the post the night of the accident Tina was acting out when our parents collected her because she wanted to go back to the party dad and Jack had to stay in the back with her so she would jump out when the car was moving again when mom was driving Tina was screaming pulling mom's jumper trying to open the windows and her seatbelt and kicking the seats which lead to the accident